Hello everyone and welcome to the Captain's Video Vlog. We are Friday, uh, July the 8th, 2016. Actually, we're Saturday morning. It's like 7 a.m. and it's a completely different uh, sunrise compared to yesterday. Uh, you know, yesterday it was all, yeah, it's gonna rain and there's going to be some thunder and whatnot. Actually, it didn't rain during the, during the morning. Uh, so yeah. Um, so during the night, uh, there was this this trend on on Twitter that um, I checked at the end of the night because I was sure that you know there would be this kind of double standard at play. Uh, this trend was a hashtag which is uh, you know um, the uh, how can I say that? I don't even know what, what it's in English. You know, u union makes strength something like that um, but in Portuguese and um, since you know I follow the trends in France I was you know fairly sure that it would be only French people talking about that and <laughs> what boy was I not surprised um, I've, I even looked at uh, you know tweets in Portuguese and uh, the earliest ones were a uh, couple days ago so before it training in France um, and there's this Jesus Christ bugs am I right? Uh, there's this weird double standard when um, if it's the Portuguese or the Italians, it's okay because maybe they're Europeans and uh, therefore they're I I don't even know uh, where this thought is going, but yeah. Uh, and I am um, of of many descents. Uh, including many origins, uh, including Italian, but I don't really uh, support Italy because, uh, pff, I mean, their team, uh, it, what is it even worth, you know? If they're facing France, I... I <sighs> but, um, yeah, um, I'm also of Algerian descent and uh, uh, never would it come to me the idea of supporting Algeria over France if the two teams were to face each other. But I'm still proud of that of that heritage, you know. Um, and uh, for some strange reason, it's frowned upon to be overtly supporting Algeria. Um, and I would guess, and it's not to be supporting another European country when you're you are uh, from that country uh, and French <laughs> and uh, that sounds horribly like you know some kind of double standards because they are European and the Algerians are not they are uh, also not Christian <laughs> so <laughs> isn't that isn't that a lot of bullshit uh, so yeah um, I, I really am going to try to go to sleep right after that even though it's been only like eight hours since I woke up uh, yesterday has been a terribly weird day I, I fell asleep right before the the riders in the Tour de France arrived at uh, the, the bottom of the climb uh, I think I woke up at one point right after the, the they crossed the finish line I'm not sure about that so I'm not gonna speak about it uh, which is you know sad because it was the first big climb and I was all hyped for that uh, for seeing that on the TV and being woo, uh, wow, people putting their legs to work, yeah. Anyway, um, so SmackDown because you know I woke up at midnight doesn't mean that I couldn't catch up on on what happened. So the opening match was uh, Seth Rollins versus Jey Uso and Jey was alone there was no Jimmy there was nobody from the Yanoai family uh, <laughs> because Roman Reigns is suspended <laughs> uh, but Dean Ambrose was doing the announcing uh, because why not uh, you know throwing a little bit of of uh, of lunacy on this whole thing because obviously that needed that um, it was an okay match. I think it was an okay match. Um, Jey Uso is not uh, a technical monster, uh, so obviously when p push comes to shove, uh, Seth has the edge over him. And Seth Rollins won. 
and then he got confronted by Dean Ambrose. Normal stuff. Uh, there was supposed to be a women's match between Natalia and uh, and Becky Lynch, but Natalia attacked Becky Lynch because obviously she would she would do that. Uh, um, so no 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 women's match. Great, wonderful. Uh, not even something to advance. You know the storylines going on to to uh, to you know. Uh, battleground when there's apparently going to be two uh, women's matches one being Natalia versus Becky Lynch but you're not advancing things a lot when you're not even having a little promo uh, so yeah uh, there was th uh, Zack Ryder capitalized for the second time in a week uh, on 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 Sheamus and then he said, yeah, I'm going for the US title, because why not? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's okay. I mean, uh, Zack Ryder, more than anybody, has uh, definitely the underdog factor about him. Like, you know, uh, it's not even the underdog at this point. It's, he's pretty much a zombie when you think creatively. Like, he's been buried so many times and so deep that how does it even stand? Uh, so yeah, it's really great to see 2016 uh, and seeing seeing him have more than one opportunity in a year, uh, even though he's probably going to job to Rusev. Uh, yeah, uh, what what else is there? I think that Rusev uh, cut a little promo on the on the people of America because. <laughs> They are kind of losers. I mean, they won one match on Monday. Uh, the rest uh, losses. Um, Sami Zayn faced uh, Chris Jericho and won in the main event. Uh, it was a very fun match, uh, made even more fun by Kevin Owens being on the <laughs> on the commentary team uh, and implying, even implying that. Battleground is going to be the end of the rivalry between Sammy and Kevin is a little bit, you know, ludicrous. Uh, it's going to, I, I hope that it's going to culminate at WrestleMania or at least at SummerSlam because, you know, it would be great. If for a championship, that would be even better. Um, what do I forget? Oh yeah, there was the club uh, who came out because Enzo and Cass were like worried that once they are done beating up John Cena they would come from for the rest of the roster and then a AJ Styles proceeded to beat Enzo so maybe you know you're being on the side of John Cena and uh, yeah uh, let's see how that works for you that's all that I'm saying um, yeah but it was a, a, I mean um, it, it seems like the club have found themselves on the microphone not yet as a unit uh, because they are fighting the underlings and not the boss which is you know kind of something that always happens with John Cena but you wish that it would not happen that much uh, yeah today Pyrene is in the in the stage of the Tour de France so that's gonna be fun yeah uh, anyway uh, I'm gonna try and avoid the it cutting on me so uh, the video cutting on me so uh thanks for watching see you tomorrow bye bye